We believe there is a third way to develop and release games, neither AAA nor indie, where games can take creative risks, can be made for a smaller audience, but still strive for AAA qualities. And this is what Hellblade is all about. Many of the games that stand out for me um, aren't necessarily the really big ones, they're the ones that have something special or individual about them. It's games like Ico or Abe's Odyssey or Jet Set Radio. And it's slightly unnerving to think that those games will probably never get greenlit in this day and age of go big, go home, big AAA blockbusters that have to sell three million to justify their existence. It's only a few years ago that it would have been impossible to publish our own game onto console. But the openness of the platform holders and technology has meant that we can now release our games across the world without having to manufacture discs, put them into boxes and ship them out to retailers. It's digital distribution that means that we can now release a game without having to charge $60. Hellblade is the first game we're doing under this independent AAA model. It's not a game that's attempting to be all things to all people, rather it's about what we feel passionate about, what we're good at, and what we think our fans and supporters want from us in a game. But it comes as a, at a price. We have to self-fund this game, um, and we have to work within the restrictions that, that that means for us. The Hellblade team currently consists of 13 people, and in most discipline areas we only have one person. But by keeping the team small and the costs low, it means that we only need to sell 200 or 300,000 copies of the game in order to make the development budget back. Hellblade isn't about world domination, it's about pushing ourselves creatively to make the kinds of games we feel strongly about, hopefully to find an audience that want to play our games. And if in the process we can earn a good, good living from it, then we'll have hit the sweet spot. We've created a model that might work. We're taking our work on Hellblade there's an opportunity to question the way that the games industry have always done things, to see if there's a better way, a more streamlined way, to create amazing quality but on a smaller budget. And when budget is your constraint, you can't just throw people and money at a problem. You have to find new ways of working if you can't afford particular devices or equipment. You have to invent your own. And this is exciting. It's a model that forces you to take creative risks. One of the keys to Hellblade is finding partners that are really excited about what we're doing and want to help us prove that this model works. Over the past few months we've been reaching out to performers, musicians and technology owners that want to collaborate with us on the game. The enthusiasm for Hellblade has been fantastic and we can't wait to share with you some of the partners that we've got on board. Performance capture has traditionally been thought of as a very difficult, expensive process, even by big AAA studios. So we want to show in Hellblade that you can do it on a much, much smaller budget, um, that you can do it using a mixture of existing and homebrew equipment and achieve results that are up there with the best. So we reached out to Vicon to see if we could work together to find a solution that would enable us to shoot performance capture, but make it work within Hellblade's budget. We're working on techniques and technologies to find a solution. We want to share as much of the development process as possible. And we're taking this as an opportunity to create a range of merchandise for the fans that want to support our project. All of the profits that we make from this will go back into the development budget to make the game as good as possible. So if you're interested, please do get in touch and let us know the types of merchandise that you'd like. But we also want to help nurture the next generation of developers. So we're working with Epic Games to launch a series of online masterclasses aimed at university students and hobbyists. We'll be posting regular tutorials and offering feedback to people who want to try out the work at home or as part of their course. Ultimately, we want there to be a future for mid-sized developers like us. And the best way for us to do that or contribute towards that is to share how we're doing Hellblade in the hope that it can be replicated uh, or or variants of it can exist thereof, but mainly to show that there's, there is a space here that we can all be part of. We're sharing Hellblade's development with you, but your role doesn't end there. We want to get you involved in QA testing, play testing, and giving us feedback. We believe that by sharing the game with you early, we can ultimately make a better game.